morning children today we are learning lesson number 8 pans of kitchen by looking at this title of this pans of kitchen we can come to know that there are so many things that we have to learn about kitchen right and that's why this lesson has called pans of kitchen i hope you all are safe and healthy at home because you are eating the homemade food that will be made at home right so why this makes a homemade food it makes us healthy this we will learn in this lesson science of kitchen this include part 1 uh so take out lesson number 8 take a pencil with your hand and let's start with this lesson lesson number 8 science of kitchen read we take cereals pulses fruits milks and milk and vegetables as our food we get energy from food exactly like we eat food because of we want to get the energy and we eat these different varieties of uh things as our food different regions have different varieties of food we prepare food either by boiling roasting frying or deep frying these are the methods of uh, preparing the food boiling roasting frying or deep frying many food items can be eaten in raw form there are varieties in our food good and nutritious food is necessary for the growth of our body for strong and healthy body it is necessary to have knowledge of kitchen it includes various spices used in the kitchen understand children you have to underline this line for strong and healthy body it is necessary to have a knowledge of kitchen yes and this we will learn in our lesson it includes various spices used in the kitchen yes you know the india is ancient india is famous for its spices and that's why we indians are very famous in the whole world because of we have a rich source of spices used in our day to day life kitchen now observation we have to observe that what is that in the picture you can see that here the four steam boxes are kept in the rack and in the below rack there will be uh, five five different glass jars are kept here and you can see that the different spices are filled in that particular jars like salt turmeric chili sugar what will be there in this jar assume a gas yes this might be your correct is this might be the coriander powder will be there okay in this particular jar okay but the name was not it then you can see that in the another jar uh, rack you can see that two big plates one small plates four bowls then you can see that five uh, glasses are there then here the in small stand the cooking spoons are kept here then you can see that here the pitcher filled with the water will be there okay the pot will be there and it will be kept in the uh, on the uh, stand what is seen in the picture these are the things you can see that in the picture right and here it is one doya will be there from which you can take out the water one gas cylinder is there two gas cylinders are there uh, so not cylinder the burners are there sorry it's a burner okay and in one the pressure cooker and the cooker is the sling right <laughs> yes two steel utensils are there the one uh, lady will be preparing the chapati you can see that here and here it will be the uh, some dough will be there also kept here and the rolling pin is also here that is belan right from using this thing you can uh, she will uh, she will preparing the chapati right which spices are seen in the kitchen salt turmeric chili coriander powder and sugar right what is being cooked in the pressure cooker you have to guess what it will be cooked in the pressure cooker it might be khichdi or it might be dal or it might be dal rice or it might be shak understand children yes this are this will be the common observation that you can see the same pictures in the kitchen the lady is sitting in the kitchen but our I mean modern kitchen 
the our mother has to stand up in the kitchen for the whole day if she want to prepare some food for us right this is the old version of the kitchen or uh, you can see that this type of kitchen you can observe in the village area where the ladies are to sit and cook the food right yes next read given below are the details of the food taken by bhavna and deepa bhavna and deepa can eat this other foods in the morning and evening and they are bifurcated that by which method the food will be prepared right deep fried boiled food roasted food or fried food monday rotlo and shak in the morning and evening chapati and saag how the food will be prepared by boiling the food and by roasting the food shak can be prepared by boiling and the chapati and rotlo can be prepared by roasting right then tuesday dal dhokli and khichdi curry dal dhokli can be prepared by boiling food you just have to ask the method of how to prepare dal dhokli and then khichdi curry also you know that how it can be prepared by boiling right then next is wednesday puri shak and dhokla here some mistake will be there because puri can be prepared by deep frying here it was not tick mark and shak can be prepared by boiled food dhokla also can be prepared by boiled food right yes so these are the some of the items they have bifurcated by deep frying boiled roasted or fried now your turn is that to think how the your menu can be prepared uh monday i have written here some of the things that you can copy down in your notebook but this answer completely vary from uh, person to person because i have written this answer according to my observation that you can vary from your observation to that what you will like to eat in the morning and evening that you have to write and you have to buy forget it whether it is a, a deep fried food boiled food roasted food or fried food right that's it Monday I will be eating in the morning chapati, saag and dal rice. And evening I am eating khichdi curry, which is both are boiled and roasted food. Tuesday kansar chapati, saag and dal rice, then bakri and shak. Kansar can be is a sweet dish and it can be prepared by boiled food. Okay. Bakri shak is again by roasting and fried food. Okay. because if we can think of fried food that means some saag will be there that can also can be prepared by some fried or by frying the vegetables and preparing the shak like that one that's why i have written fried food then thursday laddu puri shak papad and dal rice and parotha and shak so here you can see that the laddu and puri can be prepared by deep frying food yes by it's a method of preparing laddu you have to ask your mother how it can be prepared you have to deep fry it like puri also you have to deep fry it okay and then you have to prepare it papad dal rice also can be a uh, papad also by roasting parotha also can be prepared by roasting shak can be prepared by fry it also. so these this way i have written here this i ha i have taken dal rice as in all the three days in the morning menu because this menu i have uh, written by according to the gujarati culture and you can think uh, think of that we are living in gujarat so according to this way i have written dal rice because in the gujarati staple food is a roti sabji and dal rice in the morning so this way i have written dal rice in all the days in the morning time, morning menu right it can be changed according to your way your I means your whatever you are eating in your morning and evening okay children understand Read. He, uh, there is a boy. His name is Mahesh. Every day, he asks for spicy food. Yes, spicy food. Kis ko pasand nahi hai? Everyone likes to eat spicy food. After eating such spicy food, he started having problems in his stomach. Yes, spicy food. Khayenge to stomach mein problem to hoga hi. One day, Mahesh was in school. All students were playing. His stomach started paining. his pain increased gradually he was taken to the hospital now think and say why was mahesh stomach was paining because he used to eat every day a uh, spicy food right and that's why his stomach is started paining what would the doctor have said to mahesh 
doctor what we have what the doctor has to say, uh, say to my doctor must have given some advice that he must eat certain food which will be easily digestible or he should not eat very very spicy food because that can cause a stomach problem or a stomach ache that's why the doctor has suggested or given some tablets also some medicines also which have much mahesh has to take a regular basis in order to uh, smooth its stomach pain right what will mahesh do now now mahesh has to promise has himself that he should not eat so much of spicy food okay so in order to uh, means get over his stomach pain right so that he has to eat very normal food which which was easily digestible food understand children next there is girl named varsha she studied in standard 5 she loves eating outside food yes everyone likes to eat outside food right but can we eat nowadays in now scenario can we eat outside food no we should not eat outside food when we see this condition right now we should avoid such outside food but here the girl varsha wants to eat and likes to eat uh, outside food every day she eats uncovered and still food from vendors varsha does this daily if she did daily means if she eat daily into the hotel and restaurant and vendors to eat outside food that means she must have a good pocket money right yes she must have good pocket money and that's why she wants to use her money on the food Varsha does not like eating at home. Every day Varsha goes to hotels, restaurants and vendors. She eats whatever she likes. Oh, we have to think that. How why is she not eating at home? What different food items she must be eating from the vendors? Now think children, what we can eat from the vendors? Very first food item, it will come in my mind when I think of the vendor. And I'm sure it will also come in your mind also. And that is everyone's favorite, universal favorite, I can say that. Of course, Indian people's favorite. And that is Pani Puri, right? Yes, that we can eat from the vendors. But some of the different, different items we have to write. Items, not one item. So what we can say that? Pani Puri, Bel, Kachori, okay? These are the some of the items, sandwiches, these are some of the items which we can eat from the vendors, right? Yes, now next is, why does Varsha eat steel and outside food? That is very bad for her actually. Let's see why Varsha is not, uh, uh, Varsha used to want to eat this type of food. My, the answer is here, you can think of, uh, Varsha does not like eating at home. That means, at her home, her favorite food was not cooked first of all thing and the second whatever the food will be prepared at home that will not proper have a proper taste and that's why the Varsha don't like the or uh, don't like uh, eat or uh, means Varsha does not like to eat at home right understand children whatever the food will be prepared in uh, Varsha's home the taste also not good that's why she don't like to eat at home and that's why Varsha has to eat uh, outside food and steal food, right? What would have happened to Varsha after eating outside food? What can be happen to her? Think of it. If we eat continuously outside food, our stomach start paining like Mahesh has Mahesh uh, did. Okay? Then a second what we can think of it. If it is an uncovered food, steel food, that means some food infection can occur in our body, in our stomach. Or you can think of that food poisoning also can happen in our body. Oh, sorry, not, not in our body, but in Varsha's body can happen. Yes or no? So that's why children, we should not eat uncovered and steel food. Remember this thing. So these are the things that can happen to Varsha after eating outside food. 
these are the and this may be the answers of this particular questions understand children read what would happen to varsha that we understand that what can have what would, what can be happen to varsha means uh, her stomach is not particular of course the constipation can also happen indigestion problem can also occur to the varsha remember children these are the symptoms if you are eating continuously outside food we have learned that why this has happened still fried and spicy food is harmful for our body we may have to face minor or major diseases health is directly related to healthy food this underline this line health is directly related to healthy food you eat varieties of food there are various methods to prepare this food yes we can eat varieties of food and there are various methods to prepare this food let us collect information regarding it let's see that what we what are the methods given here are names of various food items say how they are cooked you can also take help of your mother yes this is very best exercise i think you can talk to your mother and you can write the answers according to by um, by writing your food item okay your own wish food item you can write and you can ask the which method it can be prepared by discussing with your mother right yes first is khichdi is here by khichdi we know that it can be done in a pressure cooker so by which method it's a boiling method then rotlo and rotli these are the things which can be prepared by i think roasting right yes then puri is very easy for us to re recognize it's deep fried right now next is uh, i have written here my uh, food item which i like it and that is kansar and it can be prepared by again boiling you can write your own answer okay it's uh, you can discuss with your mother and you can write no problem then next i have written khaman dokla and handro these are the food items which can be prepared by boiling method and these are the really very healthy and nutritious food ha huh, children come on dokla and handro this you can think of it it's a very healthy and a uh, healthy food and these are the different methods that you can recognize, uh, recognize by which method the food can be prepared here's only five is written but it's upon you you can write 10 more food items and you can also find the which are the different methods it can be prepared okay it's according to completely your wish you can enlarge this table also and you can write down also this table in your notebook okay so chill let's take this as a uh, activity so children start with this this particular exercise you have to note down in your uh, notebook uh, we will we'll say here three of three answers are written you can write seven more so total will be 10 details of food will be there yes and then you have to by forget it by which method it can be prepared either by deep frying boiling roasting and frying so children your activity will be one homework will be there this activity or this homework you have to write down in your notebook by making a table write this seven more this are only two i have written you can write seven more and by discussing with your mother you have to by forget it by which method it can be so total will be 10 numbers right so this particular thing you have to do it at your home in your uh, means you have to write down in your notebook evs notebook right yes we have to end up this lesson with as a first uh, not lesson but a part one with this thank you you can see that so many vegetables are there in this thank you so the th moral is eat healthy stay healthy and i'm sure you have to promise me you have to eat every day one raw vegetable and one raw fruit okay children in order to boost your immunity so we'll see we will meet in this next part till then thank you so much take care bye